Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to sort of a different Power Up webinar. We're calling it Ask Larry Anything, sort of a wide-ranging collection of questions that people have submitted in advance and stuff we're going to ask as part of this particular webinar, but it's on any subject, well, any subject that I've written about, and I'm looking forward to sharing some of the knowledge that I've got with you. So let's get ourselves started. We're going to get right to the questions, starting with the ones that were submitted in advance. All right, let's tackle something from Marlene here. She says, color correction quit. Oh, I like this one. This is a good one. It's not that the others weren't good, but this is a good one. If you record a neutral color checker, gray, white, black target, is there a way to do one-click color correcting on each of the patches? I'm pretty sure you could do it with Final Cut 7, but I can't seem to find it with Final Cut Pro 10. Since I shoot and edit my own footage, I'd like to be able to match color in Eclipse without having to go through the vector scope, as it would save a whole lot of time. The answer is yes, but the vector scope is actually your friend. So let's just digress for a moment. Watch this. I want to import a clip. And let's see, it comes from Active Production, Source Media, da da da. This uh, clip is compliments of Liz uh, Victorine, for which I'm very grateful. We got to go find it. Here we go. Okay. Here's a guy on camera, and we've definitely got some fluorescent lights. It's really green. It's a mess. If all you want is a fast way to color correct, select your clip, go to the Enhancement menu, and go down to Balance Color. When you click Balance Color, in just a second, notice the green cast is gone. It's really quick. It's really easy. Works great. The only disadvantage I've got is that it's good, but it's not great. It it gets you close, but you can get closer. Without having to become a colorist, without having to understand everything you need to know about scopes, but watch this. Let's just add something else here. Desktop, elements. I want this one and this one. So I have I have two images here. Let's just take this and edit it down. And let's take this and cross-connect it. There we go. This is camera one. Nice neutral gray. This is camera two. It's a bit blue. Darn, I forgot to white balance. All right. So because this is a graphic and not a piece of video, if it was video, I'd be able to go up here and say balance color. and but. Because it's a graphic, it doesn't know how to do that, having experimented with this beforehand. But it gives me a really good chance to talk about what the vector scope is. Because the vector scope actually is just hugely beneficial, and it's not that hard to learn. The thing you have to understand with the vector scope, window, do 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 scope, scope, scope. It's Command-7, but I can never remember. Oh, forget it. Command-7. And there's the scopes. Let's put the scopes side by side. There we go. I don't want it to be vertical. And let's hide this. Now, vector scope. The vector scope tells us everything we need to know about color, but nothing about grayscale. It doesn't tell us anything about how bright or dark it is. It just tells us about color. Something you have to understand is that gray is equal amounts of red, green, and blue. If something is perfectly gray, perfectly neutral, it's going to be a single dot right here in the very center of the vector scope. If I move over to here, notice that I've got this dot way over there. The dot has moved. Now the dot's in the center, now the dot is over here. So what we can do is if I'm looking at something which is black, white, and gray, which is what that chip chart, that test chart is that you're shooting at the beginning, and it doesn't perfectly line up as a single dot in the very center of your scope. Well, here's how to fix it. Now, uh, Remember, that dot's the size of a pin. On some video that you shoot, it's going to be a whole lot more, more fluffy, but this is a Photoshop graphic I created, so it's going to be perfectly tiny. So we select the clip. We go up to the Video tab in the Inspector. 
Go to where it says correction. See that right there? Click this right pointing arrow. You could also go to the color board. We have three adjustments, color, saturation, exposure. Exposure is only grayscale. Forget that. Saturation is the amount of color. Forget that. We're just going to adjust the color, so I click on the color tab. Because that which we have the most control over in terms of color adjustments are midtones, there's only one thingy we need to tweak. It's the midtone. This is the highlights adjustment. This is the midtone adjustment. This is the black level adjustment. This is the global adjustment. All right, you could tweak global, but you're probably going to have the most results by tweaking midtones. So if midtones doesn't work for you, tweak global, but I always start here. Grab this. Notice as I move this around, the color changes. See the dot moving on that vector scope? All right, well, we're going to play chase the dot. I want the dot to be right in the center. So I grab the midtone slider and put it right in the center, right there. It's now in the very center of the vector scope. This is pure gray. This is the blue. I'm going to temporarily turn that off here. Let's just uh, go back. Now watch this. I'm going to select this clip, go to Transform, pull this in. This is not pull that in. I want to pull this. There we go. So there's the blue on top. There's the gray on the background. Watch what happens to the color cast in the blue when I turn my color corrector back on. Boom. Can't even see it. The shots perfectly match. That's gray on the outside. That's gray from the upper layer clip. Gone. Took out the color cast. The vector scope makes it really, really easy. When you're looking at something that's supposed to be gray, it must be a dot in the center of the vector scope. Move the color slider till it's a dot in the center of the vector scope, and it's finished. If that's too much work, select the clip, go to the Enhancement menu, and select Balance Color. Oh, I love color correction. It's just way too much fun. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library can save you money at an incredibly low monthly price of only $19.99. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software. We update it every week. And for more information on what it contains and the benefits you get, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store. And thanks.